Let's talk about your proposal for sort of fixing capitalism. So I obviously am a very laissez-faire, free market oriented guy. You have proposed something called anthropic capitalism. So what exactly does that term mean? And what does that mean in material terms in, in terms of policy? Um, well, the short answer is, is that we don't know and that we better come up with an answer quickly. What if capitalism was a pretty terrific solution for the 19th and 20th centuries, but that in the era of, let's say, machine learning and robots and uh, world labor markets, that if you actually just let the machine run, it doesn't deliver uh, enough stability uh, in the, in fact, jobs may go away because that while opportunity may be plentiful, uh, stable, repetitive activity that's lucrative may be, in fact, quite scarce. Uh, it's not at all clear to me that if you let the wheels of capitalism run in the current era, um, that markets will clear in a way that we're happy with the way in which our resources are distributed. Many people may become very disenchanted. Uh, and these are souls that need purpose, they need uh, sustenance, uh, and they, they need uh, activity to, with dignity that the market may have provided very well in the past. So we're not going to disagree with you about the past. What I'm worried about is the future. And I think this is one of these paradoxes where conservatives tend to be very right about the past and progressives, if they are right, tend to be right about the fact that things may need to be very different uh, on a going forward basis. UBI doesn't solve the biggest problem of all, I think, which is you, you sort of mentioned it, but the, the need for human fulfillment is not going to be filled by a government check or by a redistribution of, of income. And people, so far we've filled that for, for most of human history, we filled that with work. That the idea was that we were going to, we don't have a lot to do today, but we have to go and we have to work because otherwise we're gonna starve. And that's what fills our days. What fills our days is that we go and sure, I'm doing a repetitive task at the factory, but that's what earns me the money. We may need radical ways of redistributing some of that um, if in fact uh, jobs uh, are affected in some new way where instead of machines having traditionally chased us from uh, repetitive behavior of low value to uh, repetitive behavior of higher value, the new paradigm may be that all repetitive behavior uh, is not lucrative.